at NBCSports.com and also uh, listen to him if you got satellite radio sometimes. Eh, no, you should listen to 1420 WEMB Sports Radio all the time, every waking hour. But if you just say that that's too much, he's on Sirius too. So there you go. Okay, Jerry Bonkowski. Uh, I guess the big news this week is sort of back to the future with NASCAR. You know, I could never figure out the three cars on a track qualifying. I mean, I was there in Bristol, and I, I could never figure out, okay, what, is, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, is it a good thing, or should we have strategy in qualifying? in the old days. Now, longing for your youth, that sort of thing. But I do think that a lot of people, I mean, they like, say, National League style of ball without the DH, or they miss when pitchers would throw complete games, or there were a lot of stolen bases, that sort of thing. I've talked to you about in NASCAR that, uh, you know, I think we miss the distinctive styling of the cars. I've told you how much I like Mustang because it's kind of bringing that back on the track and all this. Uh, and I've often said, you know, maybe baseball ought to go back to the way it was when they were the number one sport. You know, is NASCAR kind of getting a hint and maybe going a little back to the way it was when they were drawn 160,000 fans in Bristol and not, by my estimation, 26,000? Change is inevitable. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I like the fact we have word processors and not typewriters. Really, I do. You know, I, I, I've gotten to the point now that I can accept having a ball instead of, uh, you know, just ringing and ringing and ringing when I wasn't at home. Now, but at the same time, yeah, you know, I, I did think the car of tomorrow had people lack identity in all this. And I'm wondering if maybe, you know, yeah, going back to the future, the single car qualifying, uh, uh, you know, distinctive styling with the cars, if that isn't something that was lost, that we really need to bring back. And yeah, that was a change. Let's say uh, some of these changes, say the car tomorrow would be Cyrus. And in my way of thinking, I, I did kind of think, okay, maybe going back to the single car qualifying had, whereas changes that aren't so good. That was my take on this. Uh, do you have anything to add, Jerry Bonkowski? I know I'm, I'm giving my own opinion here, but that's what I do as a sports talk show host. Buddy Duddy. I know that oftentimes that is for an older generation longing for their youth, that sort of thing. But at the same time, 
Yeah, like you said, Fontana, I mean, uh, did we really need to change qualifying? You know, that sort of, was it, it you, you were going to be into it, uh, that sort of thing. Now, it's only for oval tracks. Is that the case, Jerry Bonkowski? From the way I understand it, yes, that's correct. Okay, so will we still, how do you qualify then on a road track? I ought to know this, please tell me. What did you take on Austin Dillon? Uh, his points total reduced by 10 points. I guess he falls from 13. The penalty report has body filler being added to the deck lid of Dillon's car. I don't know. This sounds like the body shop put Bondo on the hood of his car. What is this? <laughs> well, obviously, it was something that was egregious enough that NASCAR uh, you know, penalized him and his team for it. So, uh, you know, it's I mean, that's what it's uh, body filler, isn't that what Bondo is? I mean, what is this? And everybody around here likes them when they rank the tracks because Bristol is always high up. Uh, Jerry Bonkowski of NBCSports.com, I have talked to you about how some of these rankings have Chicago very low, uh, but Dover is now the track that seems to be getting the shaft. I mean, they're not going to be in a playoff. What's the future of this? Chase Elliott won last week. He's winning the popularity contest. Last year, he won at Dover and then Kansas, which I believe uh, follows up this week's race in Dover. So I want to ask, is this now the coming out of Chase Elliott, do you think? I mean, is this where Chase Elliott's career uh, moves up a level, in your opinion? Guys like Jeff Gordon, Tony 
Well, here's the question. Who's going to win in Dover this week, Jerry Bonkowski? You know, uh, call me a sentimental old fool. I'm going to go with Jimmy Jones. I think it's time. You know, 69 he, he's, he's been playing that card, folks. Go ahead, yes. yes. I'm, I'm playing that card. I mean, 69 races without a win. And last one was at Dover in 2017. He's got to do it. All right, I'm gonna. I'll take Chase Elliott. He won last week. Won in Dover last year. Just seems like coming out is and all this and such. So you you like Johnson? Uh, I will take Elliott, and I'm gonna let Teresa Gennaro of Brooklyn Backstretch uh, tell me that Chocolate Kisses is gonna win tonight in the Kentucky Oaks race, and she likes tack.